Today I'm going to talk about how communism is actually implemented. Most communist programs are implemented by non-communist governments. How do small groups of communists actually impact policy on a national basis? In 1994, the Democratic Socialist America also took over the AFL-CIO. Under John Sweeney, a Marxist, a member of Democratic Socialists of America, the ban on communists holding office in the AFL-CIO was lifted and the communists came flooding in and now control virtually every major labor union in the country. Alessio Medina, Democratic Socialist America and the AFL-CIO made support for illegal immigration amnesty part of the Democrat program. A communist idea is now mainstream Democrat. 